Wu-Tang Clan is an American hip-hop group from Staten Island, New York City, originally composed of East Coast rappers RZA, GZA, Old Dirty Bastard, Method Man, Raekwon, Ghostface Killer, and Spectre Deck, You God, Master Killer, and the late Capadonna. The Wu-Tang Clan was formed in the early 1990s, and they released their debut album, Enter the Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers, in 1993. The Wu-Tang Clan's music is known for its raw, gritty, and street-oriented sound, as well as its references to martial arts films and philosophy. The group's style has been heavily influenced by the 5% Nation, an African-American movement that emphasizes self-knowledge and empowerment. The Wu-Tang Clan's debut album was a critical and commercial success, and it is widely considered to be one of the greatest hip-hop albums of all time. The group's success helped to establish the East Coast as a dominant force in the hip-hop scene after the West Coast had dominated in the early 1990s. Following the release of Enter the Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers, the individual members of the group began to release solo albums. These solo albums were also successful and helped to further establish the Wu-Tang brand. The group released several more albums together throughout the 1990s and early 2000s, but their success began to wane in the mid-2000s. Despite this, Wu-Tang Clan still have a massive fan base and they are considered as one of the most influential hip-hop groups of all time. They have been featured in many movies, TV shows, and commercials, and their impact can be heard in countless other hip-hop songs and artists. In recent years, Wu-Tang has reformed and reunited for a number of high-profile concerts, and they also occasionally release new music as a group. They are known for their unique blend of different elements and not just of hip-hop culture, but also of Eastern philosophy and martial arts that makes them distinct and recognizable among the others. RZA, Robert Diggs, RZA is the leader of the Wu-Tang Clan and one of its primary producers. He is known for his distinctive production style, which features heavy use of samples, and his deep, spoken word style of rapping. RZA is also a talented singer and songwriter, and he has been involved in various other musical and film projects throughout his career. GZA, Gary Grice, GZA is known as the genius of the Wu-Tang Clan. He is one of the group's most skilled and respected lyricists, known for his complex rhymes and intricate wordplay. He has released several successful solo albums throughout his career and has also been involved in various other musical and film projects. Old Dirty Bastard, Russell Jones, Old Dirty Bastard, or ODB, was known for his eccentric and erratic behavior as well as his wild and unpredictable stage performances. He was also one of the group's most distinctive vocalists and had a unique flow in his rapping. Unfortunately, Old Dirty passed away in 2004, but his influence and legacy remained in the Wu-Tang Clan and the hip-hop culture. Method Man, Clifford Smith, Method Man is one of the most popular and well-known members of the Wu-Tang Clan. He is known for his distinctive voice and flow, as well as his skill as a rapper. He has also had a successful solo career and has been involved in various other musical and film projects. Raekwon, Corey Woods. Raekwon is known for his smooth and laid-back rapping style, as well as his clever and insightful lyrics. He released a critically acclaimed solo album in 1995, only built four Cuban links, and is considered as one of the greatest Wu-Tang solo albums. Ghostface Killer, Dennis Coles, Ghostface Killer is known for his high energy and animated stage presence, as well as his unique vocal style. He is one of the most consistent members of Wu-Tang with regards to releasing albums. He has released several successful solo albums throughout his career and is considered as one of the most talented and respected member of Wu-Tang Clan. Inspector Dick, Jason Hunter, Inspector Deck is known for his smooth and confident flow, as well as his clever and thought-provoking lyrics. He has released several successful solo albums throughout his career and is considered one of the most respected members of the Wu-Tang Clan. You God, Lamont Hawkins, You God is known for his distinctive voice and flow and for his ability to inject a sense of raw energy into the Wu-Tang Clan's music. 
He has released several solo albums throughout his career and is considered as one of the unsung heroes of the Wu-Tang Clan. Master Killer, Elgin Turner, Master Killer is one of the less well-known members of the Wu-Tang Clan, but he is known for his smooth and laid-back rapping style and his clever wordplay. He also released several solo albums throughout his career and has been considered as one of the underrated members of Wu-Tang Clan. Capadonna, even if he is not one of the nine original members, he is considered as an honorary member of the Wu-Tang Clan. He appeared on many Wu-Tang songs throughout the years and has released solo albums under the Wu-Tang brand. 1993, Enter the Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers, this is the debut album from the Wu-Tang Clan, and it is widely considered to be one of the greatest hip-hop albums of all time. The album features raw, gritty production and complex, intelligent lyrics that draw heavily from martial arts films and philosophy. The album's success helped to establish the Wu-Tang Clan as one of the most important groups in hip-hop, and it also helped establish the East Coast as a dominant force in the hip-hop scene. 1995, only built four Cuban links. This is a solo album by Raekwon, one of the members of Wu-Tang Clan. The album is widely considered to be one of the greatest Wu-Tang solo albums, and it is known for its smooth, laid-back production and clever, insightful lyrics. The album features guest appearances from other Wu-Tang members, as well as from other prominent East Coast rappers. 1995, Return to the 36 Chambers, the Dirty Version, this is the debut album from Old Dirty Bastard, one of the members of Wu-Tang Clan. The album is known for its raw, gritty production and Old Dirty Bastard's distinctive, wild vocal style. The album features guest appearances from other Wu-Tang members, and it was a commercial success, helped by the hit single Shimmy Shimmy Yeah. 1997, Wu-Tang Forever, this is the second studio album from the Wu-Tang Clan as a group. The album is a double album and it features more polished production and a more mainstream-friendly sound compared to their previous work. The album was a commercial success and it debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart, selling over 612,000 copies in its first week of release and was certified four times platinum by the RIAA. 2000, The W, this is the third studio album from the Wu-Tang Clan as a group. The album features a more polished and mainstream-friendly sound than their previous work, and it features guest appearances from a wide range of popular hip-hop and R&B artists. The album was a commercial success, and it debuted at number two on the Billboard 200 chart, selling over 270,000 copies in its first week of release. 2001, Iron Flag, this is the fourth studio album from the Wu-Tang Clan as a group. The album features a more polished and mainstream-friendly sound than their previous work, and it features guest appearances from a wide range of popular hip-hop and R&B artists. The album received mixed reviews, but it still managed to debut at number 35 on the Billboard 200 chart, selling over 110,000 copies in its first week of release. 2007, Eight Diagrams, this is the fifth studio album from the Wu-Tang Clan as a group. The album features a more experimental and introspective sound than their previous work and it also have a lot of references to their spiritual and philosophical beliefs. The album was met with generally positive reviews, but its commercial performance was less successful compared to their previous albums, debuting at number 25 on the Billboard 200 chart and selling over 60,000 copies in its first week of release. 2017, the saga continues, this is the sixth studio album from the Wu-Tang Clan as a group, it's a compilation album and it features guest appearances from a wide range of artists and also contains new material from Wu-Tang members. The album was released as a tribute to their fallen member Old Dirty Bastard who passed away in 2004. The album was met with generally positive reviews and debuted at number 29 on the Billboard 200 chart, selling over.